One day, we'll we be asking our fridge whether it can run Crisis. I'm Ryan Dawes. And I'm George Lim. So George, you may have noticed that everything is turning into a smart display. Yeah. Everything seems to be wanting to get in on that smart home market. Yeah, so we recently had the announcement of the Pixel tablet, which obviously when docked becomes a smart display. That kind of built on from the Nest Hub. Yep. But Apple is apparently working on a new external monitor, which when it's in standby mode, will turn into its own sort of larger smart display. Like a monitor? A full-size like computer monitor. Okay. So at least it sort of becomes useful when it's kind of just tucked away in the corner. I guess. Which is cool. But... Uh, a new company, a new startup called Humane, founded by two former Apple engineers and designers. Um, and they've poached around t over, I think it's about four, three dozen uh, former Apple employees as well. Gee, okay. Um, to create this really secretive startup. But they've just announced their first product called the AI Pin. Now, this will attach to your lapel and like a Star Trek uh, yeah, badge yeah. communicator, you can tap it and it'll activate a voice assistant. Very cool by itself. But building on that, it's also a projector. Oh, God. <laughs> so it will project out uh, whatever it wants to sort of display. But it also has a camera for recognition. So yep. it can recognize things like nutrition labels. And they're collaborating with OpenAI as well. well. I feel like they could have stopped at AI pin. They could have stopped at Star Trek Communicator. And I think they would have sold millions. Mm -hmm. Giving it a, a projector and a camera well, the camera maybe, you know, helps with the AI a bit, allows it to give you a bit more context, but giving it a projector just seems like overkill. Yep, and there's more. So <laughs> it also, um, during that projection, it's got a depth sensor, so it can project an uh, interface as well. Of course. You can project it onto your palm. Yep. Um, so a little keyboard, and some of the uh, app form Apple engineers worked on the iPhone touchscreen keyboard as well. Nice. Um, so you can use your palm to sort of type, or you can pop it on your fridge or, or wherever you want. Yep, just stick it on the side of a building, stick it in, in your car. Exactly, so you can <laughs> quite literally make everything a display. Um, so they're working with LG uh, for sort of home appliance integration as well. And okay. also Volvo for automotive. Oh, I was I was joking about the car. Okay, yep. fine. Nope, that is being worked <laughs> on as well. Is is, is this going to be like the? Is this the idea behind this? The one thing that you need. You don't need anything else. That is the point of it. Yeah, this is supposedly their sort of vision for the future of computing. This um, is the next smartphone. Exactly, and I'm kind of on board with it as long as they can kind of nail it. I mean. A lot of the pitch with sort of uh, like Apple's Vision Pro, um, well, maybe not their Vision Pro, but their AR glasses sort of coming further down the line, is this kind of device that you wear all the time and it sort of yeah. augments all, all of the sort of real world around you. Um, but this, you wouldn't even sort of need that sort of extra device in a way. Yeah, it could be interesting. I mean, we're seeing a lot of people try and, you know, frame what the future might look like. You've got AR, VR, you've got the AI pin. AI is playing a big part of it. I'm curious where we're going to go myself. I, I think I prefer a more subtle approach like the pin, uh, but I'd be, I'd be happy with the glasses. Ultimately, we're moving away from the chocolate buffer. I think that's where we're headed. I think so. Go and buy our recent few episodes. Yeah. Um, so what do you think? Is this something that you would be interested in? Make sure you leave your comments in the, in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit subscribe and join us for future episodes. But until next time.